Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Juan Carlito Mendoza, and today we're gonna turn this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Into this. So welcome back to a brand new drum lesson. Today's lesson will be pretty extensive, and today we're gonna to talk about stick control and how to apply that to the drum set. All right, so before we tackle any of the drum set examples, we need to learn the main stickings, and we're gonna play this on a snare drum. So all the materials in this drum lesson are based off of eight sticking ideas. The eight stickings are here. R is going to be right hand, L is going to be left hand. We're gonna play all these in 16th notes, so we're gonna count them like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And notice none of the examples are going to have accents. So we're going to make sure that everything is going to be solid and we're going to make sure that everything is going to be even. All right, let's hear this at 100 BPMs and we're going to play this all on the snare drum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right, so now that we've got those stickings down, the next step is to add accents to the right hand. And now this will change the sound of everything. However, what I want you to be aware of is making sure that the left hand is going to be low and the right hand is going to be accented. We want to hear the melodic idea based off of the right hand. All right, let's hear this at 100 BPMs. One, 
Alright, so now that we have these melodic ideas, the next step is to take those melodic ideas and we're going to add an ostinato underneath that. Now the ostinato is going to be the bio pattern, so our bass drum is going one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a, and the hi hat foot is going to be playing all the upbeats. So one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and, and if we put that together, it'll sound like this. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's hear how this sounds at 100 BPMs, and we'll play this with a musical track. All right, so now that we've got that down, the next step is to, yup, you guessed it. We're gonna accent the left hand. Make sure you accent that left hand, make sure it's strong. Right hand's going to be soft. We're gonna play this at 100 BPMs. Again, we're just playing the standard drum. All right, let's hear how this sounds. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three.
Alright, so the next step is to play the bio foot ostinato. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna play the accents on the left hand on the snare. Make sure the right hand is soft. Let's hear about a musical track, 100 BPMs. So now let's get to the actual drum set examples. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the accented patterns that we previously played, but now we're gonna play just the accents on one hand. So in this case, we're gonna play it on the right hand. So for example, 1A, if I take the accents, the accents are just one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. We're gonna play that on the right hand. You can play it on the ride cymbal. In this case, I just played it on the hi-hat. And on the left hand and the right foot, we're gonna split a paradiddle. So all the right hands are going to be substituted with a kick. So it's gonna be kick, left, kick, kick. Then we accent the snare drum with the left hand. Then we have a kick, and then two ghost notes on the left hand, left, left. And that would be our paradiddle. So we're gonna play that paradiddle between both limbs. And on the right hand, we're gonna play the melodic ideas of group A. All right, let's hear how this sounds. One, two, three, four. 
So now let's hear the group A exercises in a musical context. The next step is to do the same exact thing. However, the right hand will be switching to the group B patterns. All right, let's hear how this sounds. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's hear the group B exercises in a musical context.
As you can see, these exercises will bring some coordination issues, but once you resolve those coordination issues, the next step is to improvise using the different patterns. Let's hear an example. Well, I really hope you dug this drum lesson. For more lesson materials just like this, you can check out my website, carlitomendoza.com. And all the tracks that I use were from Epidemic Sound. I'll leave a link in the description box. And if you dig what you see on this channel, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, and I hope I see you next time. Stay safe, guys. Done. Woo!